Hi, everyone. In today's video, we'll be exploring the majestic Parliament Hill and nearby streets of Ottawa, a destination that promises a day filled with memorable moments and the perfect setting for a delightful picnic. Let's dive into the beauty and significance of this iconic landmark together. Enjoy the moment! This Lord Stanley's Gift Monument located on the eastern end of the Spark Street attracts visitors because it celebrates the Stanley Cup Ice Hockey Championship Trophy. This is approximately 20 feet high and the bowl is composed of silver ribs. It is open on two sides so that people can walk through the bowl and take photos. Let's come back to this beautiful Spark Street after a short while. This is the National War Memorial which was officially unveiled by His Majesty King George VI on May 1939. This offers respect to all those sacrificed their lives during world wars. For details, please do watch the video given in the description. This Rideau Canal offers skateway sports if you happen to visit during peak winter. This historic East Block is the office of ministers and senators, meeting rooms, and other administrative spaces. This beautiful war memorial is the bronze statue symbolizing triumph through diversity against American invasion in 1982. The Peace Tower built in 1927 is a prominent feature of the center block. It stands 92 meters tall and serves as a significant national symbol. The tower is adorned with Gothic Revival-style architecture and features numerous sculptures and carvings. The Peace Tower houses a carillon, which is a musical instrument consisting of a set of bells, and its bells play a role in commemorating various national events and ceremonies. However, this beautiful structure is currently under renovation. The Centennial Flame is the significant landmark here. Visitors love to gather here for a photo or video. So the government has made this temporary fountain a permanent facility for the visitors. The flame is fueled by natural gas and surrounded by fountain whose ledge contains shields of 13 provinces and territories of Canada. People often threw coins into this fountain for luck. Built in the Victorian High Gothic style, the West Block has been extended twice since its original completion in 1865. Since January 2019, it has housed the Interim House of Commons Chamber, installed to accommodate the house while the center block is closed. 
The West Block also houses offices for parliamentarians, a branch of the Library of Parliament, committee rooms, and some preserved pre-confederation spaces. Sir Robert Borden was a significant Canadian political figure who served as the 8th Prime Minister of Canada from 1911 to 1920. He played a crucial role in Canadian politics during a transformative period. Sir Robert Borden's contributions are commemorated in various ways, one of which is this statue at the West Block of Parliament Hill. After exploring Parliament Hill, a highly recommended follow-up is a visit to Spark Street, conveniently situated nearby. This pedestrian-friendly thoroughfare, rich in entertainment and adorned with decorative spots, provides an excellent opportunity for capturing memorable photos. There are lots of places for shopping. You will also come across the notable courts building along this vibrant street. Exploring Williams Street in the heart of Bywood Market is a must for anyone visiting Ottawa. As one of the oldest farmers markets in Canada, Bywood Market is steeped in history, and Williams Street offers a fascinating journey through the decades. Stroll along this charming street and discover the capital's rich heritage, with the captivating history etched into the very ground beneath your feet. The ground grates tell the story of Ottawa's evolution, making it a unique and immersive experience for those who appreciate a blend of history and leisure. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more contents.